I got around that. I'm still getting paychecks, so I won't complain too much. Log in. Don't need to log into that anymore. All right, so I've got a friend now. I've got a robot friend. The alarm is going off, though. Not too worried about that. This place is empty, surprisingly. And if anybody comes, the robot will take care of them. Now we can hack safely. Access granted. Hey Martin, we've got a memo about the SpaceNet laser cleaning project. They want us to play the cleaning card a bit more. They're afraid too many people wondering about what the structures actually do might lead them to question what it could be used for. Simply put, they're afraid of people finding out about the military aspect of their little program. We'll do an in-depth review, like a three-day SpaceNet special kind of thing. Grab us some military types on the project who can easily pass as civilian scientists. We'll interview them about the space cleaning program. Let's come up with some jibber-jabber pseudo-scientific crap to give the people. Ask Lyle, he's good with the science jargon and crap. We'll add a bit of fake live footage of the structures in action and be all set. Yeah, they are spinning the story. Another semester gone, and again, we've got a great one, a very informative one for PyKids as we see the launch of two new website projects. I saw that already. Have you seen the guy from HR? Pete or something. Any, anyway, have you seen the, the butt on that baby? Mm, mommy likes, seriously. I could cook those buns good. Wow. We read that email already. Congratulations. Hi, this is just short message. Yeah, we read that message, that email already. Let's hack this computer. Got all the things Access from this one. Granted. Excellent. Taggart situation. Hi, we finally got the personal personal vids of the guy who claims he can expose Taggart's ties to extremist anti all groups. They had trouble acquiring them. We'll need Brian to get working on the composites and 3D modeling. I want people to know that this guy has no credibility before he even reaches a TV station. We have to support Taggart's hope of a peaceful resolution angle. So what do you think? We have him doing a home porno or we get the racist drug induced violent episode? Wow. They are trying to uh, spin the Taggart message also. He scared me for a second, then I remembered, oh, he's on my side. What is this? A reload speed? Yes, please. Let's drop something real quick so that we can get it. Let's drop one of these. Now let's combine it. Let's combine it with my combat rifle. And here's a vent. We could have snuck in this way.
About Robert, you are right. I think he'd, he could become a liability. For some strange reason, he suddenly developed a conscience about what we do here. I don't know what to do. He's a good guy, and I don't want anything bad to happen to him, but I felt I needed to report this. Yeah, these guys are pretty nefarious. Remember, we're underground. This is like an underground news organization. That ain't good. They're literally underground. Well, this is a network of vents I wasn't aware of. Another pathfinder, but there's nothing in here, so very odd. So we came in. Let's see where this way goes. into another office. Excellent. Here's the new login for this computer. Hello, Mr. Shopper. Please advise Mr. Corbo that according to security procedures, we've changed his login. This is standard procedures and there's no cause. So another login. And then that email which we've seen and some lockers we know that's good really oh I'm full I am full oh let's drop one of these big jars I guess Hate to drop such a valuable thing. I can drop these two. Is that going to be enough? Yes. Okay, good. Now this thing's back in service. Blood on the snow. Nice, okay, so we just basically went into that office. Wish I could bring the robot with me. Like, just take him with me everywhere I go. Well, that's a long hack. But I got it. Access grant. Wonder what's through there. This is where we need to go, and I actually remember what that is. But where does this go? There's people in there. There's people in there. This is where I want my robot. Wonder where this goes. Well, that just leads to here. That doesn't help me at all. I do have a gas grenade, don't I? Oh, I thought I did. I do not have a gas grenade. Never mind. I haven't seen a lot of grenades. Well, there's only two people in here. No problems. No alarms. It's all good. A 
lot of computers and things in this area. Yeah, I don't want that anyway. And I'm full again. Oh, I got Typhoon. Drop that. Hey, you think Ricky's idea will work? About the violence in mainline, mainland China. Got a mine template. Hello all. Due to various incidents in the past few months, we have restricted electronic messaging. I've seen that. Listen, editors asked me to review your stuff about the Second World Enhanced Games. You're new here, so don't take it personally. We all go through it. You have to remember to phrase things to make the context work for you better and support your point of view. For instance, I changed former or non-augmented athletes have diverging opinions towards augmented sports or athletes, but the public seems to enjoy the new promises of intensity and excitement offered by augmented dis disciplines. Still, the preparations for the upcoming Second World Enhanced Games are well underway, too. It's hard not to feel a touch of bitterness when asking former or non-augmented athletes about their various opinions toward augmented sports or athletes, but according to some, the public seems to enjoy the new promises of brutal intensity and danger offered by augmented dis disciplines. Despite the tense climate, the preparations for the upcoming Second World Enhanced Games are uh, well underway, at least for now. The idea is that I didn't really change anything that has been said or what happened, but the presentation and phrasing imply things that aren't necessarily there in the first place. Don't worry, you'll get the hang of it. You can edit the rest yourself. So there's a little bit of idea of what they do here at Picus, <laughs> changing the story. I have with me here a nice chai tea latte. Mmm. That is so delicious. So I am enjoying that throughout the recording. So this is some new stuff. Interesting. But before we go there. Let's see what's through this way. Ah. I see where we are. We just didn't go through this door. So let's see what's in here. Got a media code. Let's go. Th let's see what's in here. Spitfire. Uh, I did. I killed all the cameras, so that's not a problem. Oh, here's that space thing they were talking about. The, uh, like, moon thing. Pretty wild and crazy stuff. Like a simulator room. VR room they can record in, perhaps. Pretty wild. And the ammo room. You know that they're gearing us up. They are gearing us up for a big battle. And I am I am completely full. So yeah, here goes nothing, I guess. Here we go. so they say, but I have started to question that. 
Ever since I realized what my interference had allowed, the day I started watching you. This is impossible. People would know. Would they? I was engineered to monitor communications and data streams. To find out what people are talking about, and make sure it's being discussed correctly. Correctly? And what if it isn't? Then my programming allows me to reshape it. You spin the news. Control what people see. Who created you? Whose policies are you programmed to protect? Zhao is one of them, I think. But there are others. Tell me. Who else is involved in this, Eliza? Where's Megan Reed? Who ordered the kidnapping? I want to tell you, Adam, but I cannot. Why not? She won't let me. I knew she's gonna say that. So there we go, big reveal. Eliza is a computer, an AI program. She's not real. And now a boss battle. Now a boss battle. All right, what can I use? I know that there are lockers here. I would love to have some like grenades. I have these mines. Use, equip, drop. I have to combine them with something though. Oh, these are concussion mines. I can use them. Okay, I used those mines, but these I have to combine with something that's a template. And I don't have anything to combine it with. But I know there's lockers back here that have stuff. I may just have to go to my heavy weapon. Ah, yeah, you can't do that. She can't electrocute me. There might be an alternate way to take her out. I just don't know what it is. Because this is the director's cut, the director's version of the game. There's alternate ways to do things in this game. In this version, I should say. But I don't know what they are. I think I see I think I see what I have to do. So this is a six. Uh hello, how do I use you? Uh E. No close. Uh, mouse X1. That's what I meant to do. Yes, I want to try to use the alternate way if I can. Because it's just more fun. Darn it. Okay. Well, let me try that again. Let me do that again. I see what I have to do now. Hold on.
Let's get up there. I didn't know she could travel up here too. But I guess that makes sense. She's gassed out. <laughs> oh, she can fight back, huh? Darn it, I have to, uh... Ah! I didn't see that little thing there. Huh. I mean, I could just blast her, probably. But I want to try this fun alternate way. Well, that's interesting. I gotta be in range. Yep, she warned me. So that's filling with gas. That means I can't go in there either, though. Shoot, I see her. Okay, this is gonna shoot down fireworks. So I need to get out of there. Well, that's not the way I wanted to do it, but it worked. I was trying to do the fun way. I know I could have just mowed her down like I just did. But I was trying to do it a more interesting way. Oh well. It's all the same. She's down. Her life signs are fading. Will you save her? I'll think about it. Will you answer my questions now? I cannot tell you where Reed and the others were taken. 
They vanished from the global grid as soon as the doctor removed their GPL implants. What doctor? This is Sandoval. Why are you calling me here? I know this guy. He's Bill Taggart's aide. He was a trauma surgeon before he became an anti-augmentation activist. Would you like to hear more? Yes. There's been a change of plans. Seraph's team must not make it to the hearing. But that's too soon. If you want me to remove the GPLs, I'll need a full operating suite. Does the facility have one? Barrett assures me it does. FEMA. That's where they were taken. But why? Why take them at all? An acquaintance of yours has the answer. David Seraph. Seraph? I have copied the audio transmission to a handheld playback device. I suggest you take it and leave quickly. I have more questions. And I have already told you too much. This passage will take you to your companion. Just be careful, Adam. Because everybody lies. Ooh, I almost died. Alright, so... I was trying to do this more interestingly. You know, there's a... Uh, with the director's cut, there are alternate options to taking out bosses that did not exist in the original version of the game. And that's what I was trying to achieve and accomplish now. Um, I want to get to that computer. I just don't know how I'm going to do that. I guess I have to take out these things here. Yeah, so there's alternate ways to take out the boss bosses in the director's cut. So I wanted to explore that because I've only played the original version of the game and they didn't have these alternate methods like being able to come up here now and do this stuff. And so I wondered what that would lead to because I've never done it before. I can see that I could I, I can pour gas down there. Okay, great, that helps. But it didn't seem to... She just came up here to fight me. That didn't seem to help too much. I think the answer is in this computer. You gain control maybe of these turrets and turn them to friendlies. And then they attack her. Perhaps that's the solution. I'm going to try to find out. <laughs> I want to see what's on the computer. I'm not close enough to it to do damage. Boy, it takes a lot to take those things out. I was I would have never been able to take them out. I would have never been able to take them out. So let's see what this does for me. It doesn't really do anything. There's no robots connected to it. There's no turrets connected. And there's no doors connected. So what was what would have this have done? Really strange. It didn't do anything for me. Or wouldn't have done anything for me. Huh. Unless there was like hidden turrets or things I could use. Let's go down here. This just is a quick way to the lower level. So there's some mines I could use, obviously. But there were no turrets or robots. This is shotgun. That's useful. Or would have been. Let 
Let me see. One of them again. I'm so full here. Templates. Lots of stuff in here. The passcode for the maintenance floor has been changed to 5945. Hmm. Yeah, I knew that these were full of ammo and things, but I don't see turrets or... Dang, there's no room. I'm going to drop one of these. I don't need shotgun cartridges. Tranquilizer combat, pro energy, tranquilizer darts, machine pistol. Oh, I guess we're going to drop the machine pistol anyway. That's the way out. Oh, I don't need the revolver. Or that. Typhoon ammo. You're dead. D E D dead. Yeah, so I'm a little perplexed what that computer would have done for me because there is... Oh, hold on. Let me just double check, but I searched all the cabinets and they're just weapons as I knew there would be ammo and stuff. But I, I don't see like a... a turret or... I mean, I don't see like a robot. So I don't know what this would have done or how that would have helped. There's nothing hidden in this room, is there? Oh, there is. What is this? Would this have done something for me? Hold on, I didn't see this. I, this was like completely invisible to me. I didn't even see this. What would this have done? That would have just disabled the laser system. Okay, that's good. But I still don't know what it buys me. Again, I didn't... Except for the turrets above me, there were no robots. So really strange. Really strange. Well, I was wondering anyway, because I knew, again, I knew the director's cut had alternate ways to do things. But... I just wanted to see what they were in this situation. And I guess there's something, but I just don't know where. I don't know. Well, let's move on. We did it. We did maybe this door? Oh. This goes like back out. Like we, you could have gone back out of the room. I didn't think you could do that. But it wouldn't help me any. Oh well, let's move on. I explored all that enough. Let's go, Malik. Jensen, Eliza Kassan just contacted me and told me I should meet you here. You ready to go? 
Sit tight, Malik. I need to check something out first. Please hurry. You ready to go now, Jensen? Yeah, take us home, Malik. Amen to that. Well, all right, that's done at least. bad things happening. Well, we're back at our apartment. Meet Seraph in our apartment, huh? Mr. Jensen, we've been expecting you. Mr. Seraph went to your apartment. Everything's quiet here, Mr. Jensen. Nothing to worry about. Mr. Jensen, sure is good to see you. Mr. Seraph assigned us to watch the building. Yeah, I might want to resign the uh, invisibility to a different mouse button or something so I can just use it a little more quickly. I'll do that off camera later. Let's get to my apartment. Welcome home, Mr. Jensen. You have new messages. Apparently that's not all I have. Make yourself at home, boss. It's a fucking mess out there, Adam. You seen the news? Pikus is telling everyone we're breeding super soldiers. Taggart's at the convention center right now, urging the UN to investigate. Is it true? Of course not. Except for the typhoon, right? And a few of those defense contracts. What? Oh, and let's not forget the fact that Megan's team was kidnapped right before her research went public. How do you explain that one, boss? I wanted people to see that research. Megan was on the brink of something historic. Something that would have catapulted this company to the top of the Fortune 500. Her kidnappers knew it. They knew exactly where her research would take us. And they refused to let anyone else have that much power. Anyone else? Eliza was right. You do know more than you've told me. I suspected. But these people? They're like ghosts. Always in the shadows, always hiding behind lies and proxies. Who are they? A well, name won't mean much. They'll use whatever one suits their interests. Sometimes it's the Masons. Sometimes the Bilderberg Group. They've had a finger in every corporation, organization, or government initiative that's defined modern society. You're talking about... <laughs> the Illuminati? It's no joke. They're organized and they operate over and above society. You're serious. So why would the Illuminati kidnap Megan's team? I already told you. 
Megan found a way to make augmentation safer for all of us, so we can all become like you. Like me? Like... You are. More than human. We've got to get him back, Adam. You said Taggart is speaking at the convention center right now? Bitch even sent me an invite. His aide, Sandoval, is neck deep in this. I don't know where Sandoval is, but Taggart will. Adam, you've got to handle this delicately. We don't know Taggart is involved, and we can't afford another punch in the face. I'm trusting you with this one. Okay, so it sounds like we need to go to the conference then. Go to the convention center and obtain Sandoval's location from Taggart. Finally, though, I'm in a location where I can, like, do some housekeeping, literally. I can discard weapons I don't need, and I can buy some new weapons. And I am definitely going to do that while I'm in this area. Mr. Jensen, a spectralist reminder to have the mirror. I've already seen that one. The dog. And welcome to our new apartment. No new emails. So what I'm going to do is uh, probably stop the recording right here for today because we've done a lot. We got through all of Picus. And uh, then we'll continue the storyline here. We need to go to the convention center. But along the way, I am going to go to two places. I'm going to go to that gas station and uh, sell things I don't need, buy some ammo and weapons and kind of organize my whole weapon thing and figure out, you know, more closely what I want to do or use. Then I'm also going to stop at the limb clinic and see if I can buy some more Praxis. Not sure what I'm going to get yet. I've got two practices right now. I could open up the cloaking system. That would have been helpful in many situations back in the last couple of uh, episodes we just played. Not really. It does use a lot of energy though. I could use more energy cells. Could use the aim stabilizer too. Um, so that I can shoot better. That's not really been a big problem. Really maybe if I was going to be sneaky... The cloak would be real good, but I'm not real sneaky. I am just going in and killing things. So, I don't know. I don't know what will be next. Maybe more energy cells. I could definitely use energy cells. So, like upgrade my batteries and stuff so that I can like fully fully energized when I enable things I suppose maybe possibly I don't know I'm gonna have to think about that I'm gonna have to think about it but in the meantime yeah I'm gonna call it quits for right now but we'll come back and then we'll continue the storyline and I'm gonna visit those places and take care of those things as we uh, head our way on to the convention center in the next video so thank you all for watching and stay tuned for the next one.